addition of metric measurements. Today, let's learn addition of metric measurements by solving a few examples. Let us add 87 kilograms, 457 grams and 12 kilograms, 642 grams. To solve this, there are two methods. Let's start with method 1. Step 1. Arrange in kilogram and gram columns and add. Thus, on adding 87 kilograms, 457 grams and 12 kilograms, 642 grams, we get 99 kilograms, 1099 grams. Step 2. If the sum of the grams obtained is 1000 or more, we convert the grams to kilograms and grams. Thus, on converting 1099 grams, we get 99 kilograms plus 1000 grams plus 99 grams, which is equal to 99 kilograms plus 1 kilogram plus 99 grams which is equal to 100 kilograms, 99 grams. Alternatively, we can use method 2. Step 1. Write the kilograms and grams as decimal numbers. Thus, we get 87.457 kilograms and 12.642 kilograms. Step 2. Add using rules of addition learnt earlier. Thus, on adding these numbers, we get 100.099 kilograms, which is 100 kilograms, 99 grams. Let's try another example. Why not use the first method here? Here, we arrange in kilometer and meter columns and add and then convert meter to kilometers and meters if needed. On adding, we get 81 kilometers, 1083 meters. Now, by converting 1083 meters, we get 81 kilometers plus 1000 meters plus 83 meters, which is equal to 81 kilometers plus 1 kilometer plus 83 meters, which is equal to 82 kilometers, 83 meters. Now, let's quickly solve one more example, but this time using the second method. Write the liters and milliliters as decimal numbers and add using rules of addition learned earlier. We get 83.087 liters and 37.946 litres. Thus, on adding these numbers, we get 121.033 litres, which is 121 litres, 33 milliliters. Hope you had fun learning addition of metric measurements.